Hi everyone, welcome to this video about the Benita 711 Maven Connector and Actor Filter Archetype. Let me tell you more about this interesting new feature for developers. It's a Maven archetype that generates project skeletons to develop Benita connectors. The same type of archetype is used for actor filter development. To use it, you'll need to have both Java and Maven already installed on your machine. Open a terminal and run the command you can see on your screen, which tells Maven that we want to use the Benita connector archetype. Maven will look for the corresponding archetype on the central Maven. Then you'll need to define some specific properties to generate the project. The group ID, connector artifact ID, the version, which is set by default, the source code package, the Benita version of the connector installation, here we indicate Benita 711, and the default class for connector logic, and also the language in which you want to develop your connector. It can be Java, Groovy, or Kotlin. Here, we choose Kotlin. Then the archetype summarizes the parameters. If all is okay, it will automatically generate the project. Once the project is generated, you can open an IDE. Here we've chosen Eclipse, but you can use what you prefer, and import the project generated by Maven. Your project contains a POM XML, which allows you to build with the dependencies you need, the definition and implementation for the connector with the default input and output of type string, and then a main class and some text for this class. This class, Abstract Connector, which is used by default in the Bonita engine, implements the two main connector methods, validate parameters and execute business logic. In the execute business logic method, we just log the default input value and set a value for the default output. I'm now importing the UiPath connector project made from Maven to show you a different and more complex example. The connector was developed in Java, but the idea is the same. You'll find the two expected methods, but they're more complex because there's a connection to the UiPath services. Now, how to use it? It's simple, just by using Maven. We'll launch a Maven build. It's possible to do this by command lines as well. This build includes Maven Verify that will perform tests and build your project. If I have a quick look into the generated folders, the target folder contains the generated archives that we'll then import into Bonita Studio. Here, we're using a Bonita Community Edition Studio. We'll see that the different definitions of the connector have been imported along with the implementations and dependencies. I can now use my connector in a process. If you want to learn more about using the Maven archetype, we recommend using the documentation, which is complete and provides a step-by-step -step example. There are also many of the other features of Benita 711 that you can find in the general presentation.